Hello everyone, my name is Zaki. Welcome to my first episode of podcast series about how to buy off-plan properties in UAE. The reason why I want to make this series is that I want to invite all industry specialists who are involved in this process. And today I have a special guest who is really close friend and CEO of Home Sweet Home Group and uh, who has been in the market for the last 10 years. Welcome Hassan Misravi. Hey Zaki, good evening. First of all, thank you for inviting me for the for, for the first episode of your podcast. And uh, as Hassan Srabi, the group CEO of Home Sweet Home, uh, it will be my pleasure to answer all your questions and hope it will be helpful for all the people who's thinking to buy any properties. It's, uh, it's my pleasure to having you in my first episode. Thank you. So Hassan, if you want to buy for yourself off-plan properties, now, what will be your strategy? Well, as in Hassan Misrabi, I have invested in many uh, different properties in UAE and outside UAE. Uh, first of all, I will always go for off-land properties. If I'm not looking for something for myself to move in immediately, I will immediately go and think of off-land properties. You mean for investment? Not only for investment. Like, if I'm not in a hurry, I want to buy something for myself, Okay. But I'm not in a hurry to leave immediately. I will go for off plan. And if I want to go for investment strategy, I also will go for off plan. The only way I go as a ready property, either I need to move immediately, I want to exchange my house, I want to move my area, or if I have a distressed deal, like someone who wants to sell urgently and I need less, less than the market price, then I will go for a ready property. I agree. But what always I put strategy in the off plan. First of all, <coughs> I have to count what's my payment during the construction. Let let's say your budget five million. Okay. Dirham. Right. Five hum, five hundred dirham. Okay. Sorry, five million dirham. Sure. So if I'm having a five million dirham in my pocket and I want to invest this five million in off plan property, first of all I want to look the market. Let's okay. say I want to invest in Dubai, so I have to focus in the Dubai market. What are the project recently it's going to be launched or re- launched just now? And I want to look the location. Always I say we have to consider few points on off plan project. Developer, I want to know from where, from who I'm buying my property. Second, the location of this project. Third, the master plan of Dubai. Good. So good. Dubai master plan, every day there is a new changes. There is a metro station coming from this side. There is a new area coming from this side. Expansion of Al Khail yes. Road, Al Hassa yes. Street. Yes. Uh, according to that, I will decide either I will go with one luxury property and I will invest my five million or I will go to multiple units. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm talking now about investment, not as a personal use. Yes, yes. So if I'm going to have uh, one property as a luxury property, I'll go to good name, uh, good developers with big names and future area. Okay? Good. Examples, uh, I don't want to mention like specific name, but I will give you just an example. Uh, new Palm Jabal Ali, it's a future investment. Yeah, yes. Right? Uh, Mina Rashid as well it's a, a new investment. So everywhere I will look where there is a new area, I will go and invest there. Very good. Yeah. As a one unit luxury, let's say. But if I want to go multiple unit, I will look to the new building, off plan, good price, good size, and good location. Second is the payment plan and developer. Very right? Good. So I have to see, okay, instead of buy one unit with this five million, I can invest and I have enough money to invest it within the, in the construction time, either two years, three years, or one years. I'm covering this five million. And when my property will be ready, either I will resell it and I will get good capital appreciation, or I will keep it and rent it out and have a long-term investment. So for multi-unit, you will go for apartment and yes. a budget of five million. If I have a budget of five million, of but course. But always there's statistic in Dubai, the supply for the apartment, it's always, not always, recently, last three years, it's more than demand. Yes. So what about the capital appreciation? What? Okay. And so as a hide, let's say we have, as you are mentioning, there is a lot of buildings, a lot of yes. apartments, a lot of, uh, and that will be always. But if you look to the other side, now 90% of any new building will be handed over within one month, it will be rented out. Why? 
because Dubai is extending more and more. A lot of people are coming to Dubai. A lot of tourists now they start to move from hotel to apartment as a holiday home, as okay. Airbnb and so on. This is in terms of ROI, return on investment yes. as rent. Yes. In terms of capital appreciation, as we mentioned that, yes. the supply of the apartment always more than demand. For the townhouses and the villas, always the supply is less yes. than, the, than the demand. Yes. As we see the last uh, weeks, uh, last 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 months, all the projects got sold out in one hour, two yes. hours. Yes. For the town, especially for the townhouses and villas. So for the townhouses and villas, of course, it's, it's higher capital appreciation, let's say, and you will be more unique with your investment. But I don't want to go and invest in townhouse and villa in any project. I will not go to the project, have 4,000 townhouse and 3,000 standalone villas. It's, it will not be a win situation for me. Right, but yes, I would love to invest in the villas or townhouses on the uh, unique project from good developers. With the prime developers, exactly, with the good size. Good Today, community. if I'm gonna invest in townhouse and the size of three bedroom townhouse, 160 square meters. It's not a townhouse. No, but yes. I will go for an apartment. Yeah, you get my point. So yes, townhouse and villa, I would love and I, pre I prefer to invest in townhouses and villa, but not with in the prime projects. location yes. and the prime, developer. only prime location and developers. Yes, yes. One more thing: Is there any good time to buy off plan? If there's time, timing. Of course, of course. How you can know? All the time. <laughs> All the time. Yes. It's good. So there is no good time, bad time. Whenever you are buying off-plan project, it's a good time. But always it's the matter of how fast you are. Because as I'm in the, I see the Dubai markets for the last 10 years, every day, every new lunch, the price is increasing more yes. and more. Yes. So there is no good time and bad time. We are working on the logic. So today I'm investing in off-plan project. My project will be ready after two or three years. I don't know what's going to happen after three years. But I'm working on the logic as of now, as a numbers, as a country, as a growing up with what we are seeing here. There is always it's always a good time to invest in off plan project. Even after three years, something will happen. Maybe the market drop down. I have just to hold myself. I don't need to sell my units. I will rent it out. Good, good, yeah. very good. And as I mentioned, Zaki, uh, for me, was one of the example of future investment is Palm Jabal Ali. Why Jabal Ali? Why Palm okay, Jabal Ali? I'll give you now a real example what was happening for the last uh, 10 years, let's say, in Palm Jumeirah, which is now existing. Now, in Palm Jumeirah, the minimum price of villas there, the, I mean, the upgraded villa, starting from 32 million dirham. It goes up to 300 million dirham. Yes. Yes. But how much those people, they bought the villa back in the days? Do you have an idea how much they bought it? 20 million? Less than 20 million. 18, 15 million? Le yes, between 13 to 18 million dirham. Mm -hmm. Now the price is from 32 million up to 200, 300 million dirham. People are doing upgrade for their villas and then resale it. They made up to 60% exactly. capital appreciation. And when Palm Jabal Ali, the new one, came to the market, in one day was sold out. Why? Same same case scenario will happen. And Investor, they know that. Number one. Number two, believe me that 40% of people who have already invested in Palm Jumeirah, they are investing now yes. in Palm Jabal Ali. Yeah. Because they see how much amount of money they make. Number one. Number two, Palm Jabal Ali, they fix all the issues what yes. was happening in Palm Jumeirah. The entrance, the exits. Exactly. The new bridges, the entrance, the exit, separate way to the villas, a separate way to the uh, hotels and apartments. So they make it in, in different way. Yes. And it's double or triple size of the, yes. palm, the existing double palm size. Yeah, yes. Exactly. So whoever buying now five bedroom villa in Palm Jabal Ali with the price of 19 or, or 20 million dirham, once it will be ready in 2027, the price automatically will be 30 million and above. Not only the Palm Jabal Ali, yes. also all the area, Al Makhroum, the whole, the whole airport, area, course, uh, Amart's house, uh, Expo, Expo City yes, there. Yes. yes. And the other point, previous Palm Jumeirah, the style and the design for the villa was one style. Here, different style. So people, they need to do upgrade, they need to change, they need to have different style. But in Palm Jabal Ali, they are giving, let's say, for the five bedroom, you have seven, eight options. Yes. You can choose what style you want 
So it make big sense for the investors and for the end users. How many bedroom you bought there? Actually, I didn't <laughs> bought in Barn Jabali, but I closed few units for my investors, and they are very happy with that. Congratulations! Yeah. Very good.